there girls it's kim odakoven kro designs back here on my channel i am a planner hack extraordinaire i'm a diy girl and you are going to want to like this video and totally subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because this ec binder is the bomb diggity i love it i love the fact that i can move things in and out everything is um wonderful from a functionality standpoint but the inside cover and the backside cover are something to be left desired for me this is such a utilized space and interior that no one is using and why not create something that i can put here and not be permanent and i can change it out daily seasonally monthly and it also works very well for the bound planner girls that are neutral. I know you've got this woven pattern right here um, with the neutrals, but again, losing some planning space or some effective tools for you to be productive is the most ideal thing for your planner. And this is gonna be an absolute gem of a DIY for you. And it really is just a little bit of photo editing and Walgreens, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Oh, of course, I'm going to go to the Inspirational Center over at erincondren.com. She has so many different digitals, um, PDFs and JPEGs of all sorts for all different seasons. Um, it's so generous of her to give it to us for personal use only. So I downloaded the color guide and the hearts and the happy camper. And what I did was open an 11 by 14 project space in my Photoshop Elements. Um, and you can use any sort of um, photo editing software. This is just what I use. And so I just made the hearts as the background. And just like the inside cover of the Erin Condren, I added that opaque white triangle for the writing space on the front. I did add like a little bit of line and a little bit of shadow to create some depth between the two. Now I've opened the color guide and because it's July, I wanted it to be just all hues of blue. So what I did was just take three rows and I cropped that out, got rid of the background, and then uh, also got rid of the words underneath each of those colors. And I just used the eraser tool. It's super simple. Um, I did not want to waste that extra space on the 11 by 14. So this is going to be the perfect spot for the other side of my planner right by the tabs. It'll be just some really cute decoration. Now I'm just gonna add that happy camper checklist on the other side, and so I can put that on the interior part of the back cover. Or I can put it on the back cover of the entire planner too. That's the awesome part about this, is that you can stick these peel and stick things from Walgreens anywhere. It could go on a dashboard, divider. It go can go so many different places because it's not going to harm your planner. Then of course I've uploaded it onto the Walgreens photo on my computer and I just select the photos that I want to go on this. And of course since I've already got it pre-done, all I have to do is upload it, select it, and then zoop, it goes right onto the project space at Walgreens and I'm ready to check out. So here's what it looks like when it comes back from Walgreens. Again, it's 11 by 17 and it comes in this really sturdy um, envelope. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut out the, the dots, the happy camper, and this dashboard all separately. Make three different cuts. Now I'm gonna grab my life binder and I'm gonna start with the easiest part first. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to over here. I just wanna make sure I get like whole circles or circles that um, are most aesthetically pleasing. I think I'm gonna go with the blue on the exterior and then have the gradation go that way. So I'm gonna start with that row up there and looks like I can end with this row down here. So I'm just gonna make a quick mark with my pen. That way I know. Now it's time for installation. Again, I'm gonna put this on the back inside cover. I'm feeling a little extra today, so we're gonna brown the corners to make it just kind of pretty and seamless. It's amazing what just one little tiny detail touch does for a difference 
on this. Now this part I'm going to go ahead and just lam stick down. Start off by, again, this is peel and stick from Walgreens and they are adamant about it not harming anything and I feel very comfortable putting it in my planner because I have used it on my wall in my home for years. Um, I use it, I have one that's by the back door and it has the little, my little boys is um, schedule for their school, their special schedule. Now again, I'm not getting it on straight so I'm gonna restart it and go again. And this is perfect because you can totally peel and stick it anytime, anywhere. It's not straight, you don't like it. It's lovely, okay? Let's see what it looks like with the pages back. Oh, it looks so good, so good, so happy. So now's the second part is you've got your dashboard and your happy camper. Now. Um, what the thing is is that we're going to laminate these so I have my laminator and I've tried writing on this peel and stick before and it does smear it's totally doable but I think adding an extra piece of laminate is absolutely essential in making sure that this is perfection. Now that we've got them laminated, it's time to trim again. And that's why I didn't really care about this white space on the side, because I'm gonna trim off the front section right on that. Now it's time for us to install the front and the back. I measured it so it was perfectly centered in here, eight by 8.75. And so now it's the peel and stick time. Um, again, we don't need the back laminate because that's not what we're here for. We're just needing that protective covering to use those dry erase markers on us. And then you go ahead and take off this backing paper. Again, it's sticky and I can just go at it at full whack because it doesn't matter. If it gets unrepositioned incorrectly, I can just go ahead and fix it. All right, there's the front cover. And let's do the back one. I have a camper. Um, we're headed out on vacation here in... Um, just a little bit for the 4th of July, so I wanted to make sure I had this. So there's the laminate. And now here's the backing paper. And it fits so slick right here. And you can do this with any of those designs on Erin Condren and make your binder absolutely personalized and efficient and productive. Let's use some of our Erin Condren wet erase markers to see how it works out. All right, don't forget to like and subscribe here on my channel, it's KRO Designs. And all you have to do is get a wet wipe and wipe away. Perfect for lists, to-dos, packing, anything you would need to be productive. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. <laughs>